Hey everybody, I want to welcome you back to another episode of Westminster Wednesday, where each week we are looking at one question from the Westminster Shorter Catechism, and we're exploring its meaning and significance for our lives today. And for the past few questions, we've been looking at the topic of sin, and specifically we've been looking at the nature of sin and the origins of sin. And these next few questions that we're going to look at are going to explore the results of sin or the consequences of sin. And uh, back in chapter or question 10, we looked at the creation of man and we saw that God created human beings in knowledge, righteousness and holiness. In other words, we might say that uh, in our original state, human beings prior to the fall were created in a state of innocence. However, we know that they didn't continue in that state, but they fell from God, that Adam and Eve chose to eat of the forbidden fruit, and in eating that fruit, they fell away from God, and all of mankind uh, sinned in Adam and fell with Adam, as we have seen, and that brought them into a new state, or as the catechism says, a new estate. So today we're going to look at question number 17, And question 17 asks, into what estate did the fall bring mankind? And the answer is, the fall brought mankind into an estate of sin and misery. Now, the next two questions after this are going to explore uh, what exactly the sin and the misery that we entered into entail. But for now, just looking at this question, what's important to see is that human beings are in a different state before the fall than they are after the fall. Uh, Prior to the fall, before the fall, Adam and Eve were in a state of innocence. And what this means is that they were created in righteousness and in holiness, and they were able to obey God. They could choose whether to obey or not to obey. They could choose whether to sin or not to sin. But after the fall, they entered into a new state. All of humanity is in a new state after the fall. And it is no longer a state of innocence, but a state of sin. And what this means is that uh, we are no longer, after the fall, able to sin or not to sin, but we are unable not to sin. We are uh, bent towards sin. Our hearts are bent away from God and in continual sin and rebellion against God. You know, many people today operate with the understanding that human beings, when we are first born, are in a state of innocence. And then it's only later, after we do bad things or make bad choices and and choose to do sinful things, that then we become sinful and fallen. But what these questions remind us is that we are not born any longer in a state of innocence but we are born in a state of sin. We are sinful from not just the moment our birth of our birth, but the moment of our conception because uh, the sinful nature has been passed down to us from Adam and Eve. And that means that we are unable not to sin. Now, sometimes when people hear this, they immediately ask, well, does that mean that we have no free will if we're unable not to sin? And I would respond to that by saying, absolutely, we do have free will as human beings. We make choices, and when we make sinful choices, we are absolutely responsible for those choices. Um, In that sense, we are totally free. However, uh, freedom does not mean that you can be free from your own nature. And the Bible says that all human beings after the fall are in a new state. We're in a state of sin, and that means we're born with a sinful nature. And because we're born with a sinful nature, our hearts are bent away from God and are bent away from obedience. And so we are unable not to sin. Man was created in a state of innocence, but now after the fall, we are in a state of sin. And our only hope is that we could be rescued from this state of sin by someone who can come and give us new hearts that are not bent away from God and not in rebellion against God. And of course, that's exactly what Jesus would come to do. And so we'll explore that in future episodes. But at this point in time, it's important to recognize that the fall brought human beings into a new state, no longer like Adam and Eve prior to the fall are we in a state of innocence. But we exist from birth in a state of sin, which means that we are inherently in need of the salvation that only Christ can bring.